hands are ready. I think so, I see it. Yes. Okay. So just gonna give um, my friends a chance to log on. I think it's ready. So I'm doing um, styling with Irma and um, so all the pieces that I have today are available with the exception of these two. These are my personal pieces that I wore today but everything else is available. I didn't put numbers um, but if you have a question about any of them just let me know. Um, just let me know in the comments if you have a question about any of them and like I said they're all available. So um, first, let me tell you about uh, this Madison skirt. So this Madison skirt is a twirly skirt and I like it because it has pockets. That's like the best part of the Madison skirt. So let's see. Is that you? So I'm going to be telling you about the different ways that you can style an Irma because an Irma tunic, well, it's kind of like when you first look at it, you're thinking like, oh, well, it just goes with leggings and yeah. So the Irma tunic was mainly um, created so that it can go with leggings, but there's so many different ways to style it and all you have to do is just try different things with it and um, try it with different pieces, with different bottoms. You can also um, layer it over a carly. That's one of my favorites. And um, so you never know. I mean, you never know uh, what it's going to, to look like until you try it. So um, this Irma is one size down. So on the Irmas, you wanna go one size down from the, what the chart says. But I mean, if you really like the print, you can also go by what your your what the sizing chart says that is your size. So if you're there, say if you're watching, say hi. Say hi so that I know that you're there. And remember, ask me questions if you have any questions uh, about these Irma. So I'm just gonna give it a few uh, more moments before we get started. And like I was saying, this Irma is um, one size down. From what the sizing chart says, I went one size down and that's normally what I do. You can actually go down two sizes as well and it fits a little bit um, uh, tighter from the sleeves. Come to think of it, maybe this is also uh, two sizes down, but um, most women, and also what I recommend, is for you to go one size down and then that'll be a good fit. So today I'm wearing this Irma with the Madison, with a Madison skirt and notice that I tied it not right here on the side because if I were to wear it just loose, well I'm not sure that that would be a very good look because it would be just too frumpy. So you want to tie a knot if you're wearing it with a skirt like this one, you want to tie a knot right here. So I'm going to show you how to tie the knot because I know that some of my friends at work have asked me before. See, so like right there, that actually doesn't look too bad, but I mean it looks more, it looks cuter if you raise it up a little bit, that way you can see your waistline. And this medicine is all the way to the waist, by the way, if you've ever wondered about a medicine, wear it all the way up on the waist. So let me show you. So you're going to pull from the side a little bit, so it's going to be a little bit loose from right here, from, from the bottom around the waist. And so you're going to pull just a little bit from right here. Can you see? Can you see the okay, and then you're going to make like a, like a zero right here with your fingers and you're going to pull it out like that and stretch it and then put it on your waist, wherever you want it, wherever you're gonna wear it. So if you're gonna wear it on the, like around the hips, then put it right there. So exactly where you're going to wear it, go ahead and put it right there and then stretch it out as much as you can. Well, don't stretch it out, but take it out as much as you can. And then you're going to do this, okay? So just twist it around your fingers 
and then you're going to bring it in from right here and then you're gonna take it out. So this, this um, fabric of the Irma, it's kind of like the same color on both sides. So you wanna at the end kind of take a look at it. If the fabric of your Irma is different on the back side than the front, then you kind of wanna just like untuck it like that to make sure that, that you can see the front of it on your nut. And so that's a cute knot. And this is the same knot that you're going to do with the Carly if you uh, layer the Irma on the Carly, which looks really good. That's one of my favorites to layer the Irma is over a Carly. But for that one, you wanna do it more like under the bust. So for the Madison, for example, for whatever um, bottom that you're wearing, if it's on the waist, then you wanna put it on the waist before you tie the knot. But for the Carly, uh, I recommend that you do it right under the bust and that's the best look. And then if you're gonna wear it over a uh, Cassie, so like right here on the, on the mannequin, I also knotted this Irma over the Cassie skirt. And so for this one, can you see it? And so for this one, I knotted it also on the waist because I put the Cassie all the way so that the waistband is right on the waist and then I folded it over and so the knot's going to be right here on the waist. But if you'd rather cover up a little bit of the tummy area, you can. If you just wrap the knot before you tie it, if you wrap the Irma before you tie the knot and then knot, knot it right here on the, on the hips, like around the hips. So I've done that before as well. So I'm going to show you uh, some Irmas that I have. So this one's actually exactly like the one that I'm wearing. The fabric is a little bit different, but like almost not that different. So this one's like the one that I'm wearing. This one is a large, large Irma. So if you like the one that I'm wearing, this one is a large. So if you're normally an extra large, then this one would be a good fit. And then this skirt is a an extra large. So the Madison skirts are true to size. I have found that if I size one up, it also looks good. So that's that's really um, beneficial, that's really cool because you can go with different patterns. So if you like the pattern, then um, you, can, you have two different sizes to choose from. So this one is an extra large, but if you are a size large and you wanted to try an extra large, then it would probably fit as well. So these two go together like the one that I'm wearing right now. So it's a Madison and an Irma. The Irma is a large and the Madison is an extra large. Isn't this one cute? This one has all sorts of neon colors. Reminds me of the 80s, but you know me. I want everything to be like the 80s. So I have this other, other pair as well. So solid Irmas are so good to have because you can pair them with your leggings and with the Madisons and with skirts and with Cassie. So solid Irmas are really good to have because you can pair them with so many things. So here's another one that goes together. This Irma is a size small and it is a peachy color. It has a little bit of stretch. The uh, arms, by the way, the sleeves, they don't have a whole lot of stretch because they're meant to fit uh, really fitted, not tight, but they're they're meant to be fitted, and then that way you can have a, a, a tight fit right here, a, a fitted look, and then it, so it's a little bit loose from here. So this one is a size small, so if you're normally a size medium, this one would be a good fit. So here's a Madison and an Irma. These go really good together. And so I also wanted to show you that I have these two other Irmas in a size extra small and a size 3XL. So if you like these Irmas in this peachy color, again, you can wear them with leggings, you can wear them with, with your Cassie skirts, with uh, other skirts that you already have, and it's really good to have solid Irmas. So I also wanna show you that you can, you can style an Irma on a Cassie different ways. So the way that I have it here on the mannequin, 
Uh, like I said, it's, it, it's knotted right here and it's at the waist. Check out this Irma. Check out the sleeves. Wow, this one, they really did a good job in the design of this one. Plus it's a floral, so, I mean, look how beautiful it is, these colors. I mean, it, you see it a little bit closer, you can really appreciate the floral. And then, so it's solid black and it has some yellow flowers and a teal color and pink and purple. And check out the sleeves, they're solid black. So I paired this one with a solid black Cassie. This Cassie is a, a 2XL, 2XL, and then the Irma is a large. So remember that you can size one or two. So if you are normally a X, an extra large, this Cassie might, might be a good fit as well because remember for the Cassies, you can actually go up one as well. Or, I mean, you didn't know this maybe, but you can actually size up two. And that's what I did. So check this out. I'm wearing a different skirt now. So this one is a, a uh, large Cassie. So I went up two from my uh, regular size. And so it fits a little bit loose. So if you're a little bit like on the fence about the Cassie's being a little bit too fitted, you can totally go up one size or two. This one is up two sizes from what I normally wear. And look, it fits really good. So what I do sometimes is I pull this over. I fold it over the band because it's a really uh, wide band. So I fold it over and then I do a half tuck with the Irma. So check it out, I do a half tuck, and then so it's, it's longer from the back, and then I blouse it from here, from the waist, so tuck it in, do a half tuck, so only on the front, folded waistband, you don't have to do the folded waistband, but you totally can. And so I like this look, check it out, I really like this look. This one is a large Cassie, large Cassie, and then of course with the Irma. So I have another Irma, uh, what size was it? It's a size large Irma. This one is a size large Irma that goes with this Cassie. And also these other Irmas that I have here. And which one? So this one. This one is a small and this one goes with this Cassie as well. So the shade is a little bit uh, darker here, but it still goes, they go together very well. Stripes 
that are going across and then it has these roses they're teal they are yellow and orange this is just gorgeous you just have to kind of sit back and 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 take it in look how gorgeous it is so what i did is i put it over a julia dress it's black but you can wear it uh, with any black skirt with a black dress with a carly this is just beautiful i can't i can't uh help myself and i just want to stir at it all day long isn't this gorgeous it is a small herbal and it's it's gorgeous let me know if you want it and look how awesome it looks with this uh, black Julia. The black Julia, by the way, is size medium. I have them in other sizes because it came in the North collection and I have several. I got the Julia's in every size. This one is a size medium. And with this Irma, again, it's a size small, but if you're normally a size medium, this would be your size for the uh, Irma. Hi, hi, Diana. Hi, Diana. Let me know if you have any questions about anything in Clarissa. Hey, girl, Clarissa. Oh, I have some more comments. Yay, Diana. How you doing? And Stephanie. Uh, hey, Stephanie. Oh, I know. No, no, no. You're right on time, Stephanie. <laughs> You're not late. And my sister. Hey Stephanie, let me know if you have any questions. I'm doing a styling session on the Irmas. If you have any questions, but all of the Irmas that I'm showing you are available, except for this one. This one's mine, but I have another one in a size large, just like this one. So, um, of course you can wear your Irmas over your leggings like this one. This Irma is so uh, versatile because of course it's black and white and you can wear it with so much. On Friday I'm going to do for the flat lay, I'm going to do some pattern mixing so that you can get some different ideas of what you can do. But this one is great for pattern mixing because it's black and white so you can pretty much put it together with anything that has black or white even if there's different colors. And I'll talk a little bit more about that on Friday with the flat lay. So notice how awesome it looks with these uh, Disney leggings because they're blue. And even though the color of the outline of the minis and the Mickeys is not exactly white, it really goes well with this Irma because the Irma is just black and white goes with, with a lot, with pretty much anything. The Irma is a 2XL. These uh, leggings are TC2 but this Irma is a 2XL, so if you're a 2XL or a 3XL, this Irma would fit. So I think that's kind of a given, right, that the Irmas go with leggings, okay, but one of my favorites, like I was saying earlier, is layering it over a Carly. So whenever you layer an Irma over a Carly dress, you want to tie the knot right under the bust, right under your bust, so right here, um, that's where you tie a knot. You can also tie it like around the waist, but I think that if you tie it more on the bust, it gives you an empire waistline and it just looks really, really cute. So check out these two go so well together. This is one of those Irmas that is really good to have in your wardrobe because it goes with so much. Of course, you can put this with your leggings, this Irma. It is a heathered uh, charcoal gray. It has black and white, so it looks charcoal gray because it's heathered and it is super soft. I wish you guys could touch it. It's super soft. This um, Irma is a size medium and the Cardi is also a size medium because for these you want to size down. So if you're normally a size large, this Irma would fit and the Cardi as well. Check out how great they go together. So that's what you want to do. You want to go with one of the colors from the Cardi and then match your Irma that way. So if you go with one uh, of the two being a solid, then that would probably be what uh, most of you are, most of us are comfortable with, uh, but you can totally pattern mix as well. I think these two go really well together. So let me know if you have um, any questions. So one of my go-to outfits is to wear Irma's with jeans. And so when I wear it with jeans, I also do a half tuck. So imagine this, so I put on the jeans and then I just do a half tuck so just in the front, I tuck in the Irma on the front or, or just a little bit, even not like the whole front. Sometimes I do the whole front or sometimes I just do like a little bit. So like this, 
with the jeans, just tuck it in a little bit. And then, so it looks really good. So on Fridays at, at work, uh, I'm a teacher, for those of you who don't know uh, what I do as a full-time job, I'm a high school teacher, and we're allowed on Fridays to wear jeans, so it's like our jeans day, and so that's usually what I do, I wear jeans with an Irma, and then right now in the winter I wear a scarf, uh, and then sometimes I tie a flannel shirt around my waist, and then with the booties, it's just my go-to outfit, it's super comfortable, and it's just one of the, the outfits that I love the most. So I have several Irmas that I uh, pulled out. Hey Denise, hey sister, and Marcy. Hey Clarissa. Hey Clarissa, I'm gonna take you your leggings. Clarissa won the free leggings from the bingo game, which is still going on. So if you haven't checked it out, go on my wall and there's a bingo game for the album sale right now. If you wanna take a look at it, check it out. And so there's no limit to the number of people that can win the leggings, so check it out. So I have a few Irmas that I want to show you. This one right here is a size small. So all of these are Irmas that I would totally wear with jeans. So let me see how can I hold it so that you can see it. So this Irma, because it has uh, the navy blue background, and this one's perfect for uh, St. Patrick's Day as well because it has green, huh? So this one, with jeans and a brown belt and brown boots or brown booties. That would look so cute. And then I have this other one. This one is a size medium. Check out how gorgeous this one is. So there's uh, some patterns where you have stripes on top of, of flowers and these stripes are, are uh, gray, so they're not like the other Irma where they're a little bit transparent, uh, translucent. These are not, so you could still see the flora in the back. There's royal blue, and then there's magenta and pink. This one is absolutely gorgeous as well. I'm just like totally attracted to roses. I don't know, if maybe that's why. And of course, pink, pink and roses, and the 80s, that's me. So check out how good it looks with jeans. Black belt, black boots, maybe a black scarf or a black necklace. I love this. Totally love this. This Irma is a size medium. Size medium. I didn't put any numbers on the Irmas today, uh, but let me know if you're uh, wanting to see the size of any of them or if you want to, me to set it aside for you. All of these are available. Here's another one. This one is an extra, extra small. Every time I see this, I think of the NMSU Aggies because that's their colors. Okay, but check it out. With jeans, this one looks so good with jeans. With a brown belt and brown boots, brown booties, brown flats. This one is just absolutely cute with the jeans. This one is a size extra, extra small. Remember to size one down, you can even size down two. So if you're normally a size extra small or even a small, this one fits. Because it, it just a little bit fitted, it's not so loose. But this one would look really good with jeans. And here's another one. This one has a black background and then it has the flowers in black, I'm sorry, gray black background. And it has these micro dots, so gray background with micro dots, and then it has the black and blue flowers. They're black, and then it's just kind of like the outline in blue. So these, this Irma looks really good with jeans as well. Check it out. Black belt, black boots or booties or flats. Absolutely fabulous with a black scarf, you know me. I like scarves in the winter. This one is so good. This one is a large, large Irma. Large Irma with jeans. And I have this other one. For this one, the pictures don't do it justice. So all of them, right? They are so much better in person than they are in the pictures. So you might have seen this one in the pictures and maybe just kind of uh, overlooked it because it doesn't look like it's like it's much of a print, but it is. Look, the 
background is gray and then it has these tiny designs in blue, uh, teal, and yellow, and cream. They're just kind of like random designs. They're not really like a specific design. They kind of look like birds, but they're not. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. And of course, it's really soft. This one is made out of really soft fabric. This one is a size extra large. And I just want to show you how good it looks with jeans as well. This one looks really good with jeans. So I would wear it with a brown belt, brown belt, brown boots, or even gray, gray boots, black as well. This one is so pretty. I would totally wear it with this one with jeans. So all of these you can also wear it with, with other bottoms, right? Like this one, you can wear it with a black skirt or a gray skirt. But with jeans, absolutely fabulous. So that is all. I just want to show you this one again because I just can't even. Check out how beautiful this one is. It's gorgeous. It's a size small. It's gorgeous. Of course, with jeans. How about with white skinny pants? Look, it looks really good with jeans as well on a Friday with a black belt, black heels. Ooh, with black heels on date night. I love it. Skinny jeans, black heels. This one is a size small. The Julia is a size medium, but the Irma is a size small. So let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you for watching you all and joining me. I know Mondays can be kind of hectic, uh, coming home from work and doing all the things that you need to do. So I really appreciate you guys watching. So I'm about to close it up here, but let me, let me know if you have any questions. From what I can see here, no. Well, let me know if you want me to show you any of the Irmas. Or maybe I'll do the knot again for those of you who uh, joined a little bit later. I'm gonna do the knot again so that you can see. So, so check out how it looks. Um, without, this one looks good because it's a, a little bit more fitted. This one I went size uh, one size down, or I don't know, maybe two. Can you tell me what size it is? What is it saying? Extra, extra small. Extra small. Okay, so this one is two sizes down. So um, it fits a little bit loose. So it looks nice like this to wear it with a belt. But I like to tie a knot, or like you saw with the half knot. So I'm going to show you how to tie a knot. So this time I'm going to do it around the, the hips. So earlier when I was wearing it with the Madison, I tied it around the waist and it's the knot is the same. You just have to decide where you're going to wear it. So right here, if I'm gonna wear it around the waist, I'm going to pull it from right here and then you form a zero with your fingers and then you pull it out and then pull your hand down uh, close against your waist or, or your hips or right under your bust if it's on a car lead. So put it right there where you're going to wear it, put your hand against there, and then you're going to do, you're going to tie it over your fingers like this. Okay, so tie it over your fingers like this, and then wrap it around this way. So what I do is I put my uh, thumb through it, or I pull it through with my thumb, and then I pull it from the other side. And the cool thing about these is that they don't stretch. I do this with my Irmas all the time and they're not stretched out. So the fabric is such that it's not gonna stretch out or it's not gonna be forever wrinkled. So check out this knot. I'm wearing this one around the waist. So it's a bit of a different look around the hips, that is, around the hips. I remember that I put this uh, Cassie, I folded it over, but you can always just leave it all the way to the waist, and then you can tie the Irma around the waist. All righty, and that's how you do the Irma knot. All righty, so if um, you all don't have any questions, hi, Ronnie, how are you? Ronnie just said hi. How you doing, girl? Alrighty, so if you don't have any questions, um, I'm going to go ahead and close it up. Thank you for watching. On Wednesday, I'm going to go live again. So hopefully you all can join me. So I'm doing my lives on Mondays and Wednesdays. 
Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, and then uh, we'll see how that works. So I'm gonna ask you guys if that's working out, if you like the lives to be on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I put it on a schedule that way you wouldn't be wondering like when is she gonna do the lives or hey, I didn't know you were gonna do a live today. So for now, it's always Mondays at Wednesday and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So that hope you all can join me and I'm uh, announcing on Sundays what I'm gonna be doing uh, during the week. And it's also on on the uh, cover picture for the, on the Facebook page on the group so that you all can see what I'm doing. And this week's giveaway day is gonna be on Wednesday. Remember that on Wednesday is leggings day. So the giveaway is gonna have to do something with leggings. So get your leggings ready. Figure out which of the leggings you're gonna wear on Wednesday. And I'm going to announce uh, the details for the giveaway very early uh, in the morning so that you all can take a look at it and then we'll go ahead and draw the winner during the live. So on Wednesday, February 21st is leggings day. So wear your leggings and the live is going to feature outfits with leggings so you all can get more leggings. So um, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you guys uh, on Wednesday. Oh, and don't forget that the albums are still open. My entire inventory is posted and it's available and that will be posted until tomorrow night. And then I'm gonna take them down so I can get uh, ready for the next events during the week. So thank you everybody. Love you guys. See you Wednesday.